Okay, guys, I just went over the directions and I'm beginning to think maybe these Amazon reviews are bogus. <laughs> it's a lot more. Quick spoilers, guys. This Rain-X did not work on my windshield for the crack that I had, but my video will show you how to use the kit properly and explain the kit. Keep watching. He came in the mail, the Rain-X, to repair my windshield. It's a windshield repair kit. Um, this got a lot of good reviews on Amazon, and that's the reason why I got it. I cracked the top corner of my windshield when I was putting the weather strip ceiling on top of the side of the car. I'm going to flip the camera and go outside and I'll show you what the crack looks like. But this claims that it will repair all windshield cracks to some degree. Um, Less the cracks will get fully repaired, I'm assuming, and if you have like a deep crack, almost a hole, it's not going to really do much, but it'll make it look better. That's the guarantee or the promise of the kit. But I figure I'll try this and let's see what um, what they say. So right off the bat, there's a cool picture where it says before and there's a big crack in the windshield, like almost like a bullseye. And after, there's literally nothing there. So that is a big claim. I wasn't expecting that to be on, on the back of this. So for $7, I don't know, hopefully it'll do the trick, but, and the reason I'm doing this review, there's not a lot of reviews on the internet of, of this kit. Um, outside of Amazon, I haven't seen a YouTube video of this. I, I searched and I'll usually search YouTube or Google to see if this worked for someone else. Not a single video. So and I don't believe some of those Amazon videos, some of those are fake. I always think those reviews are too perfect and too fake, but this had a lot of good reviews. So let's swing the camera around. Let's take a closer look at this. We'll open it up and then we'll go outside and I'll show you guys what the what I'm dealing with. So guys, I've come inside just to take the kit apart. Uh, easier to do it this way to show you guys what's in the kit, what's involved. First off, I thought this was, it looked just like a, one of those viruses. I think it's called a macrophage. The way that, that's the shape of that is so weird. But the kit is real simple. This is everything that comes in it. Um, I don't know, we we'll hope this works, but for $7.99, it's not a lot of stuff, even at the price. <laughs> it's barely anything in here. The actual Rain-X application is about the size of a crazy glue. Uh, the crazy glue, a uh, tube of crazy glue. It's not that much in there, which is weird. So we have the Rain-X application there. We have the application base there. And these two things come apart and it's gonna um, come together during uh, the process. This is called a reservoir and that's probably gonna hold, I'm assuming, the application. And then this is called a pressure, press, pressure driver. So after pouring your application into that, there you, I guess you, oh, you screw this in. And it has like a pressure, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to also on the kit, we have a razor blade because I'm assuming this is going to dry like crazy glue. So this razor blade is for scraping off the uh, residue around the cracks when this is dried. And as it's drying, you're going to put these things over the crack. Put your car in sunlight and let the um, wait about 20 minutes for everything to dry and then peel this off and scrape off the, it'll be, I guess, white, white stuff. You ever see when crazy glue dries, it leaves like a whitish residue? I'm assuming this is what that scrapes off. So they give you a lot of these things, which is kind of cool. So let's get a closer look at these things. So the application base, it has the four suction cups there. That's going to go against your windshield. And this reservoir screws into the base. And the point of this is for this to touch almost right above the crack. And that's going to deliver the um, the Rain-X, uh, what do you call this, the... I guess the juice, <laughs> this delivers the payload or the juice onto the windshield on the crack. And um, the pressure driver is what squeezes the juice out. I don't know what to call it. I'm just calling it juice. <laughs> so that's it. So what I did was I took the liberty of, move this to the side, to, and my, my rain X just fell over the side of that. Yeah, so I took the liberty of, drawing the three types of cracks that the kit discusses. The first and most common, I, I'm assuming, according to the um, instructions, is the bullseye where, I guess, a baseball or a rock hits the windshield and cracks out like a spider's web. Next, you have your simple crack, which will be either a straight line or a line, a series of lines connected by maybe a central point there. And then you have a crack at the corner of your windshield, which is the third most, I assume, co common crack. And this is kind of what, I've, what I have in my car. Um, and I realized the kit said it, they, this kit doesn't repair this sort of crack where the crack touches 
each side of the windshield. So the crack starts maybe, say, down the um, column, the A pillar here by the driver's side, and it goes to the roof. That's the kind of crack I have. So the crack spreads and touches both sides. Um, probably won't repair a crack like this. Um, the way it works is that the cracks are like gaps in the glass, and what the kit does is fill that gap in, and then as the, the resin dries, it pulls the crack together. So I guess in a situation like this, it's impossible to do that. A crack like this, you could squeeze that crack together. Spider's web crack, yes, you could squeeze it together with the resin as it dries. But um, this is the type of crack I have, and I'm realize, realizing that it's probably not going to work on my car. But we'll see that when we go outside and go back to the car. So the spider's web crack is what you're going to use the, um, or the bullseye crack. I call it spider's web crack. It's what you're going to use with the suction cup. So basically... Real quick, what you're going to do is put this over the crack with the center of the base right above the center of the crack. And you screw the, you're going to screw the application, the reservoir in to right where it's going to touch the crack first. You're going to let it touch the crack. And then you're going to just release the pressure just a little bit. And... Cut this open, cut that tip off. Just like crazy glue, you'd pour, it. they said a three to six drops in first to start. And you're gonna take your pressure driver after put, filling that reservoir up, pushing that in firmly, keeping your hands in a suction cup that that doesn't move because this is the important process that you do not want the suction cup to move. So you're gonna squeeze that, and as you squeeze that, the pressure is gonna, um, it's gonna, squeeze the resin out onto the crack and spread it out into the crack that way that's the science behind that if you have a simple crack like this the kit uh, recommends that you just freestyle it so you just run this along the crack they recommend three centimeters per minute or something i think so you'll see when you get your kit and you just run it slowly like that and let that fill into the crack um now in the event there is air bubbles, and most likely, I'm looking at this, I'm thinking there will be. I've worked with Crazy Glue before, as well as when you put these screens on your iPads and your cell phones, iPhones, whatever. There will probably be air bubbles. What they want you to do is get inside the car and push out on the windshield of, I guess, to release the bubbles. <laughs> so when you're done, you just put these, um, put these plastic sheets over the crack. Take your car into the sun and let it sit there for about 20 minutes. I probably would do like 30 minutes just to be sure. And then you come back, peel that off. It will be white residue around the edges of the crack. Scrape it with a razor blade. Wipe with maybe rubbing alcohol and tissue. And there you go. Your crack should be repaired. So let's go outside and see if this works. So guys, this was a big fail for me in that my crack bought my car in the sunlight so you could see it. I was in the shade earlier. My crack is not even on top. It's just, all this is glass. It's inside the glass. So this does not fix cracks that are buried inside the glass. And another implication was, another thing implied in the instructions was if your crack is at the corner like this, at a weird angle where um, the crack touches opposite sides of the glass, the crack is touching this side and the top side of the glass, it probably won't work for you because of the way the resin pulls the glass together. Um, so I didn't even try it. My thing is still sealed up. I might just, just end up returning this back to Amazon or keeping it. Um, the good thing with my crack is that I can't see from inside the windshield. It's on top of the, uh, I guess, the defroster line, whatever this black line is. Um, so I can't see it inside the windshield. Now I did try to pour rubbing alcohol into the crack to see if it's an open crack. It is an open crack, the rubbing alcohol goes in and sits right in that, um, you could kind of still see that black island in that crack. That's where the rubbing alcohol is sitting right now. So I just did a test of it. So the crack is open, but to a point where it opens and sits right there. So water's not leaking in, apparently at this time. It's like I could rub my hands across this, it doesn't even feel like there's a crack there. It just feels there's like a little pinhole there where water leaks in and just sits there. And it's sad I couldn't use it, but if anything, the instructions of me showing you guys how to use it um, should be should make this video worthwhile if you're watching. Like I said, the if you have a crack, it's three um, three seconds per centimeter as you go across with the drip. 
so you pace yourself three seconds per centimeter if it's a bullseye crack in the center you use the um the suction cup there and just squeeze the resin in on center of the crack and let it spread out like that so that's it guys sorry um couldn't complete the video but you do know how to use this kit now there all right guys bye see you in the next one